One, we need to be empty. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Now, by being empty, we need to empty ourselves so that we may be able to receive Christ. So if you haven't received Christ, now Praise God. Yes. So it's up to us to design and learn to act in our life. And from that, we need to welcome Jesus in our lives so that the Holy Spirit comes and seals us with his mark for the coming of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Praise God. Now, when he fills us, he enables us, eh? he enables him to do the will of God. Now, we need to understand this. Some of us may fail to understand what is the will of God in my life. Now, when you ask yourself, ask yourself first, am I meant, have I allowed Jesus to come in my life? If not so, ask yourself, then why do I need the Holy Spirit in my life? Now, when He enables you, allow Him, He enables you to do the will of God in your life, thereby He fulfills God's purpose in your life. Praise God. Amen. Now, you need to realize that without God's purpose, your life has no meaning. Praise God. Amen. And when life has no meaning, you are meaningless. Now, to come to the Shaka, what I believe is because you need to allow the Holy Spirit in your life so that He may be able to do the will. I, I love the song uh, sung by uh, all of the God ministers. It goes by the name of Israel. And it's a Mama, Karibu Roho, Ufane Mapezi. Yabwana. Praise God. He, do the, he does the will of God in our lives. Now, straight up we're going to look at the benefits of being filled by the Holy Spirit. Now, when the Holy Spirit has filled you, we are being remembered that His main purpose is to fulfill God's will as well as empowerment. Now, we're going to read it at uh, uh, Acts chapter 1, verse 4. Can we open our Bibles? Acts chapter 1, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Acts 1, verse 4. It says, And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart, from Jerusalem, but for the promise of Father, which is safe yet to have had me. Continue. Okay. Right? For John truly baptized with water, but yet shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. Now, let us stop right there. Chapter 1, after chapter 1, verse 4 5. If you read closely, uh, he had Jesus eh? when he was speaking to his disciples. Disciples of Oka Mayo Mama of the Temena Yesu. Yes, they are, they are seeing that Jesus had performed so many miracles. Praise God. And at this moment, they were ready for anything. Because when you ask them, look, I just assist you that you can to the upper so that we could, you know, go outside there, preach the word. But look closely to what Jesus said. If you go to chapter 1 verse 4. He says, While he was together with them, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem. And I'm going to stop here. This is how I want to be when I tell you this. I want to tell you this yes, I want to find a key yes, I want to be so not to happen. Why? Because how much you want to be so hard to get that's why if you go, uh, if you go to verse 5, eh? if you go to verse 5, he says, For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So they want to wait to the day 
who is just on the road. Praise God. Now, why were they to wait? The only one that's up to speed with my dad. Mr. Bogdan, God wants you to take, he wants you to be filled first so that you will be able to go to other levels. Now, Ukijaswa, Onabokia Mufu, you receive power. Because these people, when they go out there, were going to go, who cast them, isn't it? Now, look at this person. Haida Bokia wrote an article. Haida Jaiswa na Mufu. So he goes out there and Ukemea Pepe. Pepe na Monisa, Chiku na Mbio Yesu. Wewe, Mkujo kwa jina nana, hapo na nana mbili. So the first point is that uh, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we receive power. Praise God. Yes, we receive power. And this power enables us to be God's justice or to be God's witness. So we may be able to go out there in the all nations, perform miracles, heal people. It's true. It's because the power of the Holy Spirit flows through our veins. Praise the name of the living God. Jesus already knew that these people, they were really ready to minister, but now they don't have power. So let's see my Jesus and I'm so keen. Jesus and I don't want to go there and move. During our times when I was with my friends, Daniel and the likes of Ramana, we used to go out there and uh, you know pray for people. Because I used to love you know, to walk with them because they, they had this thirst for God. For God power. So, Sukumoya, you cannot come from Flanagan. Meaning, you are sick or dead, you are not going to go. So, if you are a father, you are mama. Mama, you are a father. You are a mama. Because I was worried something might happen. Maybe you are a father. Because sick or dead, you are a father. You are a father. Because we wanted to go to another level of power. Meaning, we wanted to go to another level of power. Now, if, if, if you go to, if you uh, go to Luke chapter 4, verse 1, when Jesus had come, you know, from his fasting, you realize one thing about it. Eh? Luke chapter one, uh, chapter four, verse one. Luke chapter four, verse one. And Jesus, full of Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness for forty days. Being tempted by the devil. Now you see, yes, he was only full of spirit after, after he had fasted for 40 days. Now, why was he filled by spirit? Because he was going to another level. Okay? And this level was, you know, to be tempted. When you enter, uh, to the wilderness, you should be tempted. Now, if, if, if you have gone, you know, if you have been placed in that process, and how would you judge on a law? It's a very scary one. But when you may judge on a law, and I could particularly move you, the cause of Shina Majari, praise the name of the living God. Another point that we're able to. Now, before that, we need to understand something. If you receive the Holy Spirit, this simply means that we receive power. So ask your neighbor, which power source are you plugged in? Which power source are you plugged in? What are the three answers is being plugged in God's power. Because God is the real plug. Present of the living God. Yes? So let us all be plugged in his power. And, then, and not be plugged in other powers. Because when we be plugged in his power, we know his agent. Okay? He is trusty. And let's have the name of Komataya. When you are being filled, he changes 
you want speech, then we're going to look at Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Titus. We go to Titus. For the grace of God that brings salvation appeared to them, to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness, godliness, worldly lust, we should, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. We have that grace, the grace of saying no to ungodliness. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Yes. He teaches us to re-announce them. In a katar, if we find a to go to the bishop of Papua, and therefore we can issue up our debate and come sit in the school of Papua. I have to do it now and I have to do it in the room. Praise God. You should say no. No, we did. Praise God. Now, this place that we see, Nineema, you must see Nineema. Now, it's a gift from God. So, if you forget Nineema, you have to say here to receive salvation. Now, you have to say here to avoid any form of ungodliness. Praise the name of the living God. Now you name my Yabur. Okay? The undeserving grace. Number three, after he has given you a sound of speech because so that he says to he changes your utterance. When he changes your utterance, this is by the means of speaking in tongues. We're going to read it at Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. The Bible says, When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place, and suddenly came, there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house, and they were sitting. Verse 3. And divided tongues of as fire appeared to them, and rested on each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and begin and began to speak in other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Praise the name of the living God. Now they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, devoted men from every nation under the heaven, and at this sound of the multitude came together and they were bewildered because each one was hearing them speaking in his own language. Now, when you are filled with spirit, first to memory, he gives you power, okay? Two, to Manapama, he changes your speech to say no to unholiness. And then, three now, he change, after he has changed your speech now, he changes your utterance. Okay, I'm going to see uh, the disciples when when Poku are coming to Pentecost. Okay, they know the Poku ya, they are Yaswa. Now, the Yaswa, they started speaking in new language. Now, how does that be sweet? Now, the Yaswa, I mean, uh, speaking in terms is just one of you know. Sign of Holy Spirit being present. We are going to also look at other signs. Now, why do we speak in, you know, in, in new languages? Because when we speak in new language, it also enables our spirits to pray to God. Because this is a supernatural, okay? It is a supernatural language. So, when we pray to God, we to pray to God. Praise God. Amen. When you speak in tongues, you speak to Him in divine supernatural means. And this we realize that our spirit also enables us, you know, it enables 
to, to, to be in direct contact with God because our spirit prays for us. Praise God. Now, can you let us when he gets on a law, how was the good use here?
Now, one thing, he, he is your counselor, Ameka Zanyako, na anakushauri kusifanya hiki. Ukipinga, he reduces and he convicts you. Now, one thing you need to understand, if you don't have that conviction, because you have gone away from the ways of the Holy Spirit, you need to ask yourself, you know what alternative way? That's why, when you make a mistake, if you have a alternative, you will sit down and ask yourself, now that is the spirit that gives you conviction. Praise the name of the living God. So come on, you will be fine. You lose the Madame. You will go to the young way. Praise the name of the living God. If you go to John chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. John chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. We get the numbers. Jesus answered, I assure you, unless someone is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. For whatever is born of God is born of flesh, is flesh, and whatever is born of spirit is spirit. Now, he assures us, unless you are departed, born of water and spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. But we in flesh, still in flesh, because the things in flesh that we all know. But when you're born of spirit, you are a new spirit. Now this simply means that we are the spirit enable us to be born again. Praise the name of the living God. It doesn't the law. Unazaliwa upiatea in spirit. He kills you for the second time. Praise the name of the living God. So, this beautiful afternoon, we just have to pray to God so that we may be able to be glad in His power, so that we may be able to be His trustees, to be well, His ambassadors, so that we will be able to preach the word of the whole nation. That He give us an inspired speech that whenever we stand in front of people, we are not going to be able to do that. We are not going to be able to do that. We are not do not be anxious about anything, but do pray as application of the spirit that let your own request be known unto thee. So you should go through that as though who was the name. But that word spoke to my life. So whenever I'm in any situation, I'm able to remember the other word that is speaking to my life. Because you know that I see my but see a voice so we really know about. Nikura particular situation you have to come in room. It's just a woman as well as a mother for them. But I it surpasses all understanding. It will feel in our heart. President of the Lingo. Lingo of life.